This one is a patron vote winner, and the theme for this week's vote wow. is water, hence rain and John Fogerty. Oh, it's an orchestral arrangement. Oh, I love that. Okay. His voice has changed quite a lot throughout the years and um, it's really interesting because in his early days he had that obviously raspy, rocky uh, tone to it but um, when he went into a solo career he did a lot more kind of country music and you can hear that in his style, his voice has kind of moved towards that and maybe that's become his habitual way of singing and part of that is he has a little bit of, I think it is actually nasality, I think some of the air is travelling through his notes. Now it's interesting because I often say to people guard against that and for some people it can make the voice a little unstable but I actually like to think that most nuances really are not terrible in you know by themselves um it just often doesn't work for some people but here you know it is really working for him and it gives him that kind of uh, country twangy edge <laughs> it's such a tune song as well isn't it Great vowels. Oh, it's so joyful. Oh, I'm just closing my eyes and then I opened my eyes and he was doing a great mouth shake shape forever he wasn't doing ever and closing it was ever ever and i want to know i want to know i sang the wrong notes um he has everything on an ah uh, or no or ever it's really ah uh, based and that makes it a lot easier actually a country thing would be ever and closing onto that er but it doesn't make it as kind of open and expansive and you can hear a lot of country singers will switch between that closed er sound and then a big open ah sound sometimes but here you know this is the old days of um you know it's a credence credence song and you do want it to be expansive and open and joyful it's great See how much he opens his mouth a lot. I want to hear how he does this phrase. Okay, it wasn't as bouncy as the first time he did it, but he did yesterday and used that d to really bounce it. He's keeping this verse really rhythmic to contrast with that very fluid and open chorus so that you get two really distinct sections that kind of marry together and it feels a bit more st storytelling e. That's a great descriptive word. <laughs> And he's got that little rocky distorted edge in there still. Oh, it just pulls on the heartstrings. I love it. Oh. He makes me want to cry. Orchestras. I'm John Fogerty. Gets me every time. Come on, see that mouth shape. I know we're in the middle of a moment. I'm gonna zoom back so we can get the whole of that chorus and sing along with him. But that, ah, he's like literally opening his mouth as much as he possibly can. Um, and you're gonna get a warmer sound. If you create a bigger space in your mouth, you'll get a warmer sound. If you're like, I wanna know, 
has that tight sort of squeeze sound. I wanna know. Bigger and warmer. Okay. Oh, let's go back to two minutes seventeen. Let's go. Let's sing along. That was so fun. Mm. What great writing. That song has so, so many feels in it. It's both sad and joyful at the same time. That combination of the orchestra as well really just lifts it into the stratosphere. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Now.